Hello, and welcome to Sam Tracks Cooking. Today, I will be returning to the World of Warcraft official cookbook for stuffed mushrooms. Yum. First thing you need to do is preheat the oven to 350. Then lightly grease your baking pan with oil. Then clean your mushrooms and pull off the stems. Oh no, these two are friends. <laughs> Sorry, friends. Then you need to hollow them out. <laughs> then mince your stems. After that, heat up one teaspoon of sesame seed oil or peanut butter oil. Now add one teaspoon of minced ginger. Yes, I know that could be more minced. Also don't actually touch the pan like I just did. <laughs> and if you can eat garlic, you would put one clove of garlic here. Stir it till it's lightly brown. This shouldn't take more than five minutes. Then add your stems and cook for another two to three. <laughs> I'm liking that sound. Now you're supposed to cook these ones till they're soft. Now add in some pork sausage, which would be technically one cup. I have a little more than that. And cook it till it's brown. Once you drain it, transfer it to a bowl to cool. And then once it's cooled, add a fourth a cup of grated Parmesan, a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, a teaspoon of sesame seeds, and two tablespoons of minced scallions. I don't know if we're gonna make it today. Also, don't forget a tablespoon of soy sauce. Then make sure to mix them thoroughly. <laughs> this looks good. It smells good. Now put your filling into your caps. Once stuffed, leave a little pile on top if you can. <laughs> then carefully pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. While that's cooking, let's read the geeky description. Once a favored dish of the ancient mogu, this recipe has become a staple in Pandarian cuisine, packed with flavors and textures that be for dominance with one another. These tender bite-sized morsels make for an easy but impressive appetizer. And if you've seen my other videos, you know they always put a little thing from the game, which shows you the level, which this level is expert. And I also love how they tell you what it pairs with as well. Which for this recipe is light beer and yak warm, or sorry, luke warm yak roast broth. Which is also in this recipe book. I think I've made it before, let me check. Just not on the show. Oh yeah, Philip made this once. It was really good. Since we still have a little more time while it bakes, let's go see where it is in the game. It's taking forever to launch because it's Tuesday when WoW updates. That's why we have bubble tea. I'm trying to think if I have any characters in Pandaria right now. Let's see. Founder! Let's go. Oh, because we made... So me and my husband and our friend Teresa, who you can see in a previous D&D &D cooking video, made these panda characters at the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> Where am I? I don't think I'm in the right place. My husband came and helped me. I am not in Pandaria, <laughs> but he told me how to get there. <laughs> this is like where the garrison place is, I believe, which is in a different place. So many worlds. All right, let's go teleport. Again, I'm not used to playing Alliance characters. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Because it's Pandaria and I thought playing my panda character would be cute. Nope, that's not where you teleport. Oh, I bet it's here. This big building with a cannon on it. Nope, that's just a bank. 
Good to know. Oh, there's a teleport here. Where does that go to? Why would you teleport me to? Oh, that's the Stormwind. <gasps> but there's a way to Pandaria through Stormwind. Let's find Pandaria. That's definitely not Pandaria. Is this Pandaria? Yes, that is. Jade Forest. My character's homeland. Okay. Let's see. They have stuffed mushrooms. <laughs> Sounds like the mushrooms have been drinking or something. Oh, he doesn't have them. He might, though. Nope, he won't. How about over here? Mistress of Cider? There's an inn. Okay, I have to go down the hill. I'm so light on my feet. Stable master. Innkeeper! Aha! Let's look at your goods. They have the roasted barley tea. Yak cheese curds. Ooh, that's not good, actually. I would eat that. Dried peaches. Boiled silkworm. I don't think I would like that. But that's just me. Ooh, toasted fish jerky. Sounds good. I actually have that couple blocks away. Red bean buns. I love the red bean buns. I made an episode on that. You guys should go check it out. Oh, she doesn't have it. Okay. May need to check Wowhead. Origins. Oh, the Valley of Eternal Blossoms was destroyed. Learn the recipe farming. Oh, I wonder, ooh, is this one? I do. I know I don't have high enough cooking skill. Let's just go to the Valley of Eternal Blossoms and see if I can buy it. Let's write something. Bear. It's a bear riding a bear. <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny to me. Alright. Flight Master, where are you? There you are. Oh, Tavern might have it. Let's try that. I love Pandaria. I haven't been in Pandaria in a while and I forgot, like, I love these gliders. They're just so cool. Wow. I'm stuck in the wind. And when the three of us made these characters, our goal was to see, because we made them right at the beginning when everything shut down here in New York City, um, we wanted to see how far we could level them up <laughs> until everything reopened. And, you know, see how far we could get them during the pandemic. And, well, the pandemic isn't over yet, so it's just kind of, we ended up dropping this goal. All right. Where is your innkeeper? Give me the mushrooms. Okay, let's see. Here we got. Discover the tavern. Do you have any mushrooms, sir? Yeah, peach pie. That does sound good. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to buy them here. Let's see. Let me try flying to another place here in the valley, and then if not, I may portal back to Stormwind and see if I can't find it in the auction house. Because I know, if I remember right, there is a big shrine here, so maybe they might have it. If not, back to Stormwind. <laughs> I'm just having no success this month with these Let's Plays, <laughs> finding recipes. I mean, the last one I did find it, but like, getting to it. <laughs> yeah, this is like the big place I was thinking of, so. Hooray! Sweet treats. Let's see if she has them. I know it's not a sweet treat. Farewell. All right. Farewell to you two, madam. Let's see who we got in here. Ooh, food and drink. All right, let's see if you got it. I'm like standing in a fire. I like this music. All right. Yeah, I think based on what I read in that little description, is this you can only get through cooking training? So let's fly back and portal to Stormwind. I'm on a wild panda chase <laughs> for lush roofs. Oh yay, I guessed right. <laughs> Maybe the portal isn't here and I guessed wrong. You know what? I think I saw there was character in Stormwind. really cute idea to do a panda with a panda and it may have another panda so we'll see <laughs> all right let's do it <laughs> my werewolf character meet wolf fly <laughs> i know i haven't played her in a while uh, oh 
get fresh and yes, I would like to be teleported to Stormwind. Thank you very much. I'm on a mission for lash rooms. To the trading district, to the auction house. All right. Ha ha ha. Yeah. All right, let's see if they have it. Learn the recipe by farm. Yeah, so I think I'd have to go on a whole like farming quest to learn the recipe. Doesn't look like a lot of people do this or else it'd be in the auction house. So I think I'm gonna just have to throw in the towel. <laughs> If you're able to make this recipe, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I would love to like know it exists in real life. Like I know it does. Wowhead doesn't lie, right? Mm, they're so cute. Time for a taste test. It's a little warm. <laughs> This filling is the bomb. Like, it's so good. Oh, I just got a little bit of ginger in there. <laughs> it's like savory and spicy and just like, oh, it's so good. This is like one of my favorite things I've had in this recipe book so far. And it holds together as you bite it, which is just amazing to me. Like it doesn't turn into like a crumbly mess. So impressive. I can't stop eating it. 10 out of 10. I know it seems like I'm just throwing 10 out of 10s willy-nilly, but that was good. It was fairly easy to make. And it's just like such, oh, like the description didn't lie. It's got a lot of great flavors all at once. If you have the World of Warcraft cookbook, I highly recommend you try this recipe. So good. <laughs> if you like this episode, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want some exclusive videos and content, be sure to check out my Patreon. See you next time.